Hi, I'm Cassie, and today I'm going to talk about some of the books that I read and remember reading as a child. The first one I'm going to talk about is called Stella Luna by Janelle Cannon, and I actually don't remember being read this one, um, but I remember the pictures, and I remember the bat, and I loved the pictures of the bat. I thought she was so cute, and... Um, it's a great story of how a little baby bat gets separated from her mom and gets raised by birds. And I love the ending of the story, too. It's, it's such a cute story about being raised different than others. The next book I'm going to talk about is also a bat book. Uh, apparently, I've liked bats my whole life. This one, it's the first in a series called, this, called, this one's called Silverwing by Kenneth Opal. And there's two more books in the series, and then there's another one that's like a companion to the series. And it follows the, the story of a runt of a colony named Shade. And I loved the imagery that was in the book. I loved how it was written and painted pictures of how a bat sees the world. It's a really good story. And then the last one I'm going to talk about is actually the second book in a series. This one's called Holiday Inn by James Howe. The first book in the series is called Benicula, and it follows these two characters, Harold and Chester. And Chester constantly gets harebrained ideas in his head about, like, the bunny is a vampire. And this book talks about them getting boarded, and they stay at a place that Chester calls the Holiday Inn uh, while their family goes on vacation, and it's a great mystery um, that Chester does solve at the end. Um, you can find all of these books here at the library. Um, and for Stella Luna, we also have a Vox Books, too, which is a book that talks.